A naked man jumps into a zoo's lion enclosure in a desperate suicide bid and survives. 20 years old. In San Francisco, a mob of 15 to 30 men and women attacked a man, put him in the hospital, unconscious, and he is suffering deteriorating brain function. They kicked, they punched, they used broken bottles as weapons against this man at 2.40 a.m. in San Francisco. A mob of women went into a Victoria's Secret store in Miami Lakes and attacked an employee. The secret life of the human pups, the weird world of grown men who enjoy dressing up as dogs in role play craze sweeping the nation. It involves about 10,000 people in the UK, men dressing up as dogs. And you can watch this documentary trailer on these men who dress up as dogs. What are we seeing today? We are seeing behavior that we have never ever seen before. Adults acting like children, adults becoming irrational, violent, suicidal in ways that is just beyond comprehension. What is going on with the population? Not just here in the United States, but in the UK, in Western nations, what is happening? Could it be microwave warfare, microwave mind control? When I see these headlines, I can't help but think that the microwave frequencies, the electromagnetic frequencies coming from cell phone towers, coming from, from cell phones, coming from smart meters, coming from Gwen towers, coming from satellites, coming from TV monitors, computer screens, laptops, iPads. These frequencies are very dangerous. And yes, they are being used against us. It is an incredible weapon because they are invisible. And a whole lot of people cannot feel what is happening to them. This is a fabulous article that I hope everybody reads and circulates. And what is written in this article? The author writes, my research has found that microwave weapons are targeted on middle class troublemakers and researchers who cause problems for the establishment. Those targeted individuals that a whole lot of people think are crazy, they are not crazy. But it's not just those who cause a problem for the establishment. These frequencies are being used on people at random or they're guinea pigs in experiments. In San Francisco, I will link below to a video with Lauren Murray, who lives in the Bay Area, uh, Berkeley, I believe. And in this area, she talks about microwave frequencies being used against the population. But Russian and American research has found that pulse modulated microwaves used for mobile phones, cell phones, can, when modulated with electro or, I'm sorry, electro low frequencies, which mimic specific brain patterns, change the behavior of the victim at the flick of a switch. It has been found that UK security police, such as MI5, use the 450 megahertz frequency used for this research, legally allowed to be used by the police for behavioral control. A vast catalog of mind control frequencies in the megahertz range, FM radio, TV, and mobile phone frequencies have been measured, which are used in the UK for mind control and killing 
or disabling victims. We are using those same frequencies. The symptoms can be depression, befuddled thinking, loss of memory, stress, not being able to cope, manic behavior, schizophrenia, nervous breakdowns, physical collapse, brain and nervous system damage, heart attacks, cancer, and the list goes on. And I will link below to all of these articles. And I hope that everybody circulates it because we're going to see more and more of this crazy behavior. You know, people, I, I read comments with people saying chaos is coming. No, chaos is here and it is only escalating, increasing rapidly. And we will see more of this kind of insanity. Mark my words. But this article is written by Barry Trower. Who is Barry Trower? I'll let you hear from Barry Trower himself. Um, in 1960, I was in the Royal Navy. And I, I worked partly with the underwater bomb disposal unit, partly with microwave warfare, and some of the other time with radar. Microwaves were involved in all of those three different areas. So, whilst I was in the Royal Navy, I trained in all aspects of microwave technology. Uh -huh. And as anybody will tell you that's been in the forces, uh, the training you receive is second to none. Uh, you, you practice it, you talk about it all day, you sleep it. Um, so. Since 1960, I have been involved in all aspects of microwave technology. Okay, I will link below to this video. I hope everybody watches it and circulates it. This is very, very dangerous technology that is being used against ordinary people. And they are using this microwave to, unfortunately, create an awful lot of the chaos that we are seeing the bizarre behavior that we are seeing. This is a three-page paper of Barry Trower's. Very important information here. But what does he say here? Well, with just one pulse frequency, you can make people so suicidal they can't be bothered to act like a demonstrator anymore. All they want to do is sleep or lay in bed all day. They can cause insanity, and unfortunately, they can entrain children's brains, and that's why we had a rapid rollout of Wi-Fi in public schools. This is also another article that is very good, and I will link to it below. Microwave technology and its use against humanity. Please get this information out. The new killing fields, electromagnetic weapons. Military governments, even private corporations, are using this technology against people, obviously without their consent, but also without their knowledge. So I just want to say to all of those who may be experiencing emotions that you don't understand, it could very well be the frequencies coming from your cell phones, coming from the TVs, coming from computer monitors or screens, coming from uh, cell phone towers and Gwen towers in your immediate vicinity where you live. And unfortunately, all you can do is just wait it out how you're feeling. I've, I've received a lot of comments from subscribers who have told me that they feel extremely depressed and don't know why. That they feel angry and don't know why. That they had a blow up with their son and have no idea where it came from. And unfortunately, again, you know, unless people really do the research on these frequencies, on this technology, then they will just roll your, their eyes at you, 
call you crazy and then they will just continue to read headlines like this and think what? This is very bizarre behavior that we are seeing now in our populations and it begs questions. We need to ask why are we seeing all of this? And then hopefully when you do the research when you listen to these microwave uh, warfare specialists, when you read about how dangerous these frequencies are, hopefully you will be motivated to reduce your exposure as best you can. Get rid of the Wi-Fi in your homes. If you have parents, if your parents um, of children that attend public schools then band together with other parents and work to remove the Wi-Fi that your child is subjected to for hours and hours each day. Use your cell phone for emergencies. I'll link below to all of this information. I hope everybody takes this very, very seriously. Thank you for listening.